Hey there, Pipers. Still drinking. I um, got me another workbench video going. Just a little bit of update. Smoking my Bruno Robalo, the uh, Portuguese pipe maker, my billiard. The ivory stem. And in it, um, I'm trying the Peter Stokeby's uh, Luxury Navy Flake again. Giving it a second go. See what it's like. Anyway, oh, first of all, I want to give a, a thank you to Sparky Pipes for helping me with my YouTube problem. Much appreciated, my brother. Where the hell is my lighter? Anyway, I um, I put on my second coat of natural finish. Just to kind of help the natural grain kind of pop. And once this bad boy dries, I'm going to clear it. And um, yeah, then I'll be done. Uh, thank, thanks to everybody for all the suggestions. Um, on the next one, I'm going to try, before I actually carve up my next piece, I'm going to try a couple of different methods. Um, that you guys had suggested but another thing that I had just found a goddamn stain pen where the fuck was this when I needed it anyway another piece I had just finished today part of my uh, part of my ashtray is I had finished buffing out my copper hmm I like that. She's a beauty. So I just gotta clear it. And she'll be good to go. Oh boy, it's stuck. It's stuck. That sucks. Not good. Alright, come on. Alright. Now, just gotta give that some time. And uh, that'll be good to go, but the other thing I'm working on is, you guys remember this bad boy from one of my other videos, the cigar box. My um, Liga Privada T52. Hopefully it's coming out. I'm going to turn this into a desk lamp for my work area. I might have to put pegs down here. I'm going to have it like this, sitting like this. But now that I look, the latch is going to cause a bit of a... Not really, but, you know, it's not going to be stable. So i got to probably put some uh, put some little stickies on here, little legs. Stabilize it a bit. But I found the center. And um, got me a make-a-lamp kit. And since this is the only box that I got that's nice, hopefully I don't fuck it up. Wish me luck. Hey there, Pipers. Okay. <clears throat> now for the desk lamp, it looks like all I'm going to really need is a drill. And a 5 16 drill bit for this kit. Now kind of going over the instructions and it comes with this little adapter here all these pieces so it looks like just screwdriver drill kit and that's it so I'm gonna go ahead and drill the hole I had centered found center already Take my five sixteenths. Oh. 
You know what, I'm going to do a start punch. Just so that my drill bit doesn't jump jump around. Now, if this works, I have these old lamps. Uh, my grandmother's neighbor uh, from the late 40s, early 50s, he used to be in the military. And he got all this solid fucking brass. And he made a couple of these antique lamps out of just old fucking ordnance from fucking Pearl Harbor days and this is just one solid piece of beautifulness and um, I might try to convert it it's totally worn out but I might try to use this lamp kit to try and figure a way to jimmy it to this thing I got a couple like this that I wanna I wanna fix up and, and get working again which will be super cool Anyway, once you get your hole, pray that it fits. Mm. Okay, I gotta file it out a little bit. about cleaning up the edges too much you have a cap that will cover it careful you don't take out too much so you gotta kind of keep checking it now it's a little snug uh, so you just kind of screw screw it in I guess you could loosen it up more than that, but I kind of want to make it uh, fitted. Uh, come on, baby. Need it to stick up about a quarter inch, and then you tighten it with this locking nut to keep it from going anywhere on the inside. So once you get it threaded through, put the cap. Uh, empty your pipe from a little ash in there.
Take your end cap here. This also has a locking nut on it. And you can adjust the depth to how much you want it. I'm going to get it. I kind of extended it kind of a lot past this grass fitting on the bottom there. Screw that in. I'm not going to snug everything just yet till I get done now. 